My name is Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. Today is October 25th, 2019. December 4th, 2020. December 20th, 2021. Today is February 6th, 2023. 40. 8,000. 51,000 Instagram followers. 55,600 Instagram followers. Currently, I have 50,800 followers. I would like to have more compassion for myself. I tend to get angry very easily or mostly get stressed and anxious super easily over small things. And I would like to be able to self-soothe and calm myself down a bit faster. It, it takes me a while, basically. I wish I wasn't so obsessed about money and metrics that I could find other values in life. Like I'm really trying to not care about those things, but at the end of the day, I cling on to Jade's follower count or if Jade went to VidCon or if Jade made money. Like I think I wish I was more than that. And I know I am, but I wish, I wish I could believe it, you know? I feel like I definitely have achieved the ability to separate my work as my value versus who I am. Um, and honestly, I think it's because I found a passion of snowboarding and surfing and things that are just beyond views and stuff. So. It's cool to see me grow that way. I am very single, ready to mingle. Just kidding, no, I'm, I'm alone for a reason. I'm focusing on myself, but the answer is I'm single, okay. <laughs> that is the most bullshit answer I've ever seen. I'm currently not single. I'm still in a relationship. Looking back at my single days, I had a tough, let's just say 2020 was a tough year on Jade's love life. <laughs> Hanging out with a friend, just having no plans. An ideal weekend is surfing with someone I love, maybe going hiking. I love going outdoors. I prefer to do my exercise outside. So just being in nature. My ideal weekend is probably surfing all weekend. Or if I'm lucky enough, I would love to wake up in some sort of mountain and snowboard all weekend. Have some wine with my friends and my boyfriend and call it at 10 p.m. What is one thing people always misunderstand about you? I think people misunderstand that I need a lot of help and that I feel insecure because I'm reaching out to people, but no one sometimes I feel like reaches out to me. So I feel like it's the needing of validation, and people don't maybe don't ex uh, you know assume that because maybe I appear more confident. I really felt like I was alone. Like I moved to San Luis Obispo, had no friends. I didn't really ask for much help. I think if there's one thing people misunderstand me about is I'm very confident, but it doesn't mean I'm super secure with myself. I really feel that. I feel like I've last year was really working on trying to be okay with my insecurity and finding ways to be secure in the instability. Um, and I honestly think the reason why I found that security is just because I've learned with therapy to self-soothe myself when I have these anxieties. Some of it's breathing, some of it's meditation, some of it's just going outside. But yeah, I just feel like learning how to self-soothe myself was a huge thing I had to learn. I'm still learning last year and this year. What is on your bucket list for next year? Yeah, Dubai would be sick. I want to surf in Bali. I want to surf in Portugal. I want to surf. I, I, I went to Portugal two I, months ago I to surf. To just travel and surf, obviously with social distancing uh, precautions. Okay, my bucket list is to surf in Fiji. Surf in Did not do that. I would love to snorkel. I really want to write a book. So I did not surf in any of those places, but I did surf in Bali and Hawaii. I moved to the beach. So I did a lot of surfing, just not in the location, but I am also working on a book, funny enough. So that I did do. My bucket list for this year, 2023. I do still wanna go to Fiji or Maldives. Like I wanna go to Tropical Island. I really wanna go on like a one week snowboarding trip somewhere. Fun, exotic, next winter season. Also, I would love to surf at a wave pool sometime soon. What do you think about when you're by yourself? When I'm by myself, I just think about money. How I hate myself, how I think I'm fat, how I think I'm poor, how I think I'm not good enough. That's what I think about myself, genuinely. Hmm. <laughs> so, fun fact, I didn't go to therapy this past two videos. So I am now actually in a very good spot. Um, I, when I'm alone, I actually think about like, what I want to work on this week. Like for example, last week I had to work on my inner thoughts and the way I talk to myself. I honestly think what I'm, what I'm doing next, like I suck at just being idle and chilling, but I realize that's okay. Like I'm a very hyperactive person. So usually I'm thinking about what I'm doing next, whether it's surfing or like having to work or having a meeting, like I'm, I struggle with this. It's hard for me to stay still, but I'm just thinking about whatever's next. Are you happy? I'm like, I'm like worried. But I'm also really content. Like, I don't think I'm generally 
super, super optimistic, but I think I'm very content and like thankful. I'm very, very happy. Like I just moved to the beach with my boyfriend and I literally can see the ocean from this view and it's so beautiful. I paid for everything myself. Um, I'm just so happy, like I could cry. <laughs> These are allergies, but I could cry. What is a habit that you want to change this year? I would like to be able to be less anxious over small things. I am really good over the past years of being less anxious over big things like emergencies or like my mom got cancer last year. Like I'm good at like, not, I'm not good, but like I can navigate these bigger problems, but like for some small things, like my room is messy. Like I have so many weird social anxieties. So yeah, I would like to be able to have a handle on self-soothing on smaller things. This fall, I worked on directing influencer management and creative for a TikTok house, and it's called The House of Us. It was for the election this year, and I worked with some amazing names and brands and people that I never thought I would work with. In addition, I launched my first course ever with a company that I like love. So it's been a really crazy year professionally. I'm, I'm very thankful, and I, it blows my mind when I think about it. Well, first of all, I landed a sponsorship with Red Bull, I worked with them multiple times this year, had a campaign with HP, Netflix, I'm now working on a project with Warner Brothers, I spoke at VidCon this year, I launched a crypto project, oh yeah, I went to a fucking Ethereum conference in Paris, did a lot of press and media for them, I got accepted to South by Southwest for next year, speaking there for my project NFT, and we're raising $400,000. The biggest thing that happened to me in 2022 was, what? I didn't raise $400,000 for my project, fun fact, but I did plant trees in Los Angeles that help under-resourced communities. I launched a podcast with my friend Karu and we have uh, amazing sponsors. I also am still working with Red Bull. I got the opportunity to speak again at VidCon and I'm speaking again in 2023. I made the most amount of money that I ever have last year, which is crazy to think because I was so certain that I was broke. <laughs> in 2020, 2019. I was just so embarrassed about myself, but I really came out. If you're young and you're feeling like you're broken, unsuccessful, do not worry. Wait three, four, four more years and you will see change. Like I'm telling you, do not judge where you're at if you're like in your 20s, especially if you're in your teens. Do not judge where you're at. What advice would you give to yourself from a year from now? Okay, one year from now, Jade. I hope that you figure out this money thing. Um, I really hope that you realize that your ideas, like you're super, super valuable. Um, I know some days you don't feel like it. And I also hope that you just stop chasing things and start saying no more often. Jane, I know you have an issue with fucking saying yes to everything because you want to get... Don't let your anxiety get in your, in your way. I know you might feel anxious about your relationship might feel like people are gonna hurt you. There's a difference between your and you know intuition and anxiety. So this is a huge thing that I learned about. So last year I was literally anxious about so many things. Like I literally thought with my relationship with my boyfriend, I thought that that was gonna be like corrupted in like any second or like I could lose all my money in any second. I'm like, I was just very, very like fragile minded. But one thing I learned is just doing things even despite of fear. Whenever I have fear, I just try to face it on head on. Like the other day I went paintballing and I was really scared, but instead of like being a little bitch, I asked to get shot. <laughs> like, so I could feel the pain and not be scared. That might be an extreme uh, example. So what is advice would I give to myself a year from now? I would probably say, slow things down. If there's a big problem, slow it down. It might feel overwhelming at first, but you can break it down in steps times, or at least just give yourself 10 seconds of space to just breathe. You can let go something and be okay. Money does not come before your mental health. Ooh, that's huge. I learned the power of knowing myself. I think a lot of times we lie to ourselves and say like, oh yeah, I like this thing, or like, I really want to go out with these people, but inside you just want to stay home and eat pizza like i said no to a lot of things yet i got more opportunities i turned down a lot of events that i should have gone to for my career i've said no to clients i could have got more money but it's because i prioritize my values and my mental health so i guess my biggest fear is like going broke and not having a family like my mom and dad 
them going sick, that's scary. Um, my mom got cancer last year and she's doing better. She had a successful surgery, but I just realized how fragile life is. Like, I'm really scared of losing my loved ones. And when that time comes, because obviously death is inevitable, I just, uh, I hope I have a support system around me. What do I want to say to myself in a year? Be a nice person and say thank you more. Say I love you to your parents. I know you're kind of weird with your dad. I hope that so weird with my dad. <laughs> Daddy issues. Help others even if they don't deserve it. I hope that you're, if you're successful, that you're humble. And if you're not successful, Jane, if you're kind of like a shithole. I hope I'm successful and humble. What do you think? Do you think so? I think so. Yeah. 2022, Jade. Holy shit. Um. Can I ask you a question, I guess? It's not really, I have something to say. I guess my question is, are you still in a relationship? <laughs> yes, and thriving. I guess if I could say anything to you, I hope you got really good at surfing and I hope you spend more time with friends that you really enjoy and you worry less about what people think and you really enjoy your project NFT. I hope you're still enjoying it. I think that's my main thing. It's like, I know you're going to be fine successfully, but are you enjoying yourself? I think I had a, such an amazing year this year. Like I, that's interesting. One thing I did want to say is I talked a lot about NFT last year in my year interview. I'm not doing that anymore this year just because launching my own NFT project that plants trees was an amazing experience. But like I said, I really want to prioritize myself and what makes me happy and at the time it was really amazing but i don't see it aligning with my goals right now for now i might come back to it what do i want to say to myself in a year i would say jade 2023 i hope that your loved ones are healthy i hope you're healthy i i don't know if i've talked to you guys about this but i have a thyroid problem and i have a lump and i might have to get it surgically removed hopefully it's you know non-cancerous i hope you build this level of resilience and steadiness in your mental um, and you can overcome anything. That's kind of what I want. Um, I also hope you're shredding on the mountain and you're doing like fucking tricks and shit because I want you to be good at snowboarding and surfing. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys like these and I'm gonna keep doing them. I'm gonna keep doing them until... I just literally ripped out my hair. Oh, fuck, okay, bye.